welcome to my channel everyone today's tutorial will demonstrate how to create a glossy button using photoshop so if you would like to know how keep on watching first of all i'm going to create a transparent canvas so to do this go to file new adjust the canvas size i'm keeping mine at 1400 pixels then change the background content from white to transparent and click ok I'm going to start off by using the elliptical marquee tool and draw a circle. To maintain the equal proportion, hold down the shift key and drag your mouse to draw a shape. Now I'm going to set the color for the button by changing the foreground color to red or whichever color you prefer. Then using the paint bucket tool, I can paint the button red easily. Before adding effects, make sure to go to select menu and click on the deselect so the shape is no longer outlined. Next to add some effects, I am going to click on the add alias style icon and select inner shadow. Here change the distance to 0 pixels and size to 70 pixels. Moving on to the stroke effect. Change the size to 4 pixels and opacity to 95% to reduce a little bit. Lastly adding drop shadow effect. Change the distance and size to 9 and click OK. Now I'll need to create a new layer which creates a layer called layer 2. Selecting the elliptical marquee tool again. Draw an oval near the top of the button like so. Then change the foreground color to white. You can easily do this by clicking on the little reverse arrow icon. Now select the gradient tool and using the gradient editor, click on the foreground to transparent preset and click OK. To apply the effect, Hold down the shift key and drag your mouse from top of the oval to the bottom like this. Then change the opacity level of your choice. I'm keeping it at 80%. Once that is all done, go to select then deselect. If you need to resize the oval shape, press Ctrl and T on your keyboard and the transform the shape. To add text effect to the button, select the text tool. I would like to keep the font as USS Dallas, size at 70 and color as white. Once you have written your message, activate free transform tool by pressing Ctrl and T on your keyboard to resize the text and then commit the changes which then allows you to move the text around using the move tool. Now I can add some more effects to the button but before this make sure to duplicate the text layer by pressing Ctrl and J. Next click on to the original text layer, press the down arrow once followed by the right arrow once. Now to add some effects to the copied text layer, click on the add a layer style icon then drop shadow. Here change the distance and size to 13 pixels. Then select bevel and emboss. And change the size to 7 and depth to 120 and press OK. Feel free to play around with the effects to see what you like. So this was my tutorial on how to create a glossy button. We can now save the document by going to file, save as, then your desired location save as a png format thank you so much for watching i hope that you have learned something new today please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel see you again soon